So my name is Mike Gentile. I'm the running backs coach here for Raiders to Roll. Uh, this is my first year with the Raiders, first year in the ELF. Um, been over in Europe for about seven years. Um, grew up in Boston, Mass. Uh, I've coached a couple of times before. Uh, I've mostly been playing the last few years, um, but this season I uh, played for the AFL team and coached the ELF team here. No, I think we have a great running back culture here, and I think it started you know, years and years and years and years before before I got here, before any of the guys that are on roster here have been here. I mean, you see it from the little things that we do, like the way we practice and even the, the kind of running back specific pre-pre warm up that we have here in a couple minutes. Um, and I think obviously, right, there's been a, a tradition of great running backs here since Flo Grind, uh, a lot of those guys in the, in the last decade. Obviously, it's important to make sure we're keeping that tradition alive and we're making sure that we're we're upholding the standard that has been set here over the past years and years and years, right? It's important that we're able to consistently keep the team moving in the right direction, do what we have to do on the ground. I mean, we got huge responsibilities as a, as the running back because either we got to run run the rock and get some get some important yards, and you also got to catch the ball. So you basically got a lot to do. <laughs> when we are not getting the ball, we have to protect the, one of the most important guys on the field, the quarterback, and hope that he gets not touched the whole game. As the offense coordinator, uh, running backs are everything. Um, the the running game opens up everything that we want to do and accomplish. As, the, as a football team. Just able to lean on these guys and they're running the ball hard and um, it's really nice because they operate without blinking and they just get it done. And then we'll add um, another one next week. So we'll see what happens. I mean, it's hard to say what an ideal running back is because especially with our group as well, we have different guys that can do different things and then we all link up together. I do my best to help the team win and yeah, I just try to be the best that I can. On off-season work, I'm trying to get bigger, faster, stronger, and then put it all on the field. Yeah, I'm going to the gym, I think, like everybody else. And also in practice, and you have to give every rep um, 100%. Yeah, that's it.
Man, I'm super happy with the way our group played today. Um, I'm especially happy that we got to get everybody in, right? We got to get Nasty in, Hazi in, Flock in, everybody played great, right? We got to do a lot of different things and everyone was able to contribute to the win. Um, very happy with some of the plays that we made out of nothing. I mean, at the end, it's, it's an overall effort from the whole offense. And I think we do a pretty good job on um, putting the ball everywhere. So in some days the receivers score the most of the points, in some days the running backs do that or even the quarterback or whoever. Um, at the end of the day we just got to put the points on the scoreboard. Yeah, I think we played very good today, especially in the first half. Um, it's always a team effort and our O-line was awesome like every week and we wouldn't be that good without our O-line. So props to the O-line. The overall performance of the offense was, uh, we were Good in the first half, we were kind of doing exactly what we wanted, you know, Dinkin and Duncan, uh, Hazi and Bonatti were running the ball super well. Then we started rotating guys, making sure guys get um, uh, their reps and game experience and stuff like this. But Still one of the areas where I think we need to improve a little bit more is our receiving out of the backfield and our pass protection. So pass protection when we're in, uh, when our offense is trying to throw the ball downfield, uh, we typically like to insert ourselves as like a sixth offensive lineman to try to give Sean even more time. Um, and the better we can do with that, the more time Sean has, the easier it is to find those open receivers. And then when, it's, when it comes to like pass catching, right, we've got to get out of the backfield, run better routes, and catch the ball every time it's thrown to us. It's something we work on a lot in practice, but right, I think we need to keep working on it. It's things that aren't very natural for most running backs, so I want to make sure that we're continuing to, to try to improve on that.